This is the Haynes jet engine, which I have recently made, put together. Quite a lot of pieces, so it's a little bit fiddly, but if you get yourself organised and check out the pieces beforehand, it all goes together pretty straightforwardly. Something of use to note is the middle section is all grey, so it makes it easier finding all the bits. Also, some of the bits are not actually on these sprued tabs, they're in separate bags stuffed in the package, so you have to sort that out as well. It's a little bit daunting, but if you follow the logic, it all goes together well. Here it is. Obviously the motor is quite loud, which almost overpowers the sound of the jet. Um, obviously it also doesn't spin very fast, it's a toy um, and you don't get any air flow through it. And these, these uh, whatever you call those things, not the turbine blades, those fixed ones don't rotate. So I spent ages taking off the sprue bits, which there was no point in doing that at all. The centre bit, the high, high pressure bit, rotates twice as fast as the front bit and the last bit. Unfortunately you can't see the front bit because it's hidden by this grey plastic shroud which I presume they were going to make clear but couldn't for some reason. But It runs for 30 seconds and turns off. I think it would be useful to modify it. I'll put a fan in there or something. Do something with the motor noise. You can slow it down. If you rotate it by hand, you can see that the high compressor, sorry, the high pressure compressor bit in the middle turns quicker. It's clever. What happens if you? Ah, oh, there you have it. 